Okay, man, so uh, just talk to me about your first two amateur fights in mixed martial arts. Uh, let's see. First fight, had a boring first round, went to a second round, uh, dropped the guy with a punch, TKO'd 10 seconds into the second round. Nice. Second fight, took the guy down right away with a double leg. Uh, uh, I rang not a cage, which was kind of different, and I didn't like it. I went to go for a choke. The uh, kid grabbed the rope, took my back, put him in an arm bar, and about snapped his arm. So, <laughs> wow. So, yeah, that that fight was pretty quick. First two minutes, I think. Yeah. So you're not a fan of the rings? No, not at all. I did not like that at all. <laughs> it was a completely different feel just being inside. Yeah, for sure, man. Okay, so uh, talk about your opponent coming up. Uh, Jerry, Jeremy Mir from uh, Oklahoma. Uh, watch, watch a few of his fights, and the fights I watch, he, he likes to go for takedowns. So I'm, I'm guessing he's a you know wrestler, grappler. So it's that's all I know about him. So you know my game plan right now is unknown. Haven't came up with a game plan yet. Right. So we'll. <laughs> Okay, man, so... We'll see, we'll see if we try to pick it up, change things. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, this will be your pro debut? Correct. Okay, cool. Uh, any nerves or excitement? Uh, well, I just had a baby boy, so really... Yeah. I didn't really talk too much about the fight, just kind of taking care of my son and whatnot, but, you know, I guess when the time comes, was, I might get a little nervous, but that's, that's usually a good thing. Yeah, for sure, man. So uh, just talk about the show. The show's pretty stacked, dude. Yeah, yeah. They're starting to uh, starting to put a lot of good wrestlers on that card. Uh, you got Bubba Jenkins, Lance Palmer. Uh, of course, we got Dakota Cocker again. Uh, signed Joe's Daddy Stevenson. So yeah. They're definitely doing big things with this organization. Yeah, for sure, man. So uh, what kind of dog you got back there? Oh, he's a hunting dog. He's a German wired hair pointer. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who will you have in your corner for this fight? Uh, Joe Ellenberger. Cool. And I think er Ernie Quintana. That's who I trained for over uh, here in town. He's one of the boxing coaches. I think he's going to be in my corner, too. Oh, okay. Cool, man. Cool. Um, what would you think about the MMA judging right now? There's a lot of controversy in uh, boxing and now in mixed martial arts. You think, uh, you think, what do you think about open scoring in MMA where the fighters can see the scores after every round? Ah, oh, man, that's, that's a tough decision. Ah, that's, you know, that's a good question. Uh, you know, I think if some fighters saw the score, they go out there either try harder or, but, you know, same token, if some guy is up, he might just kind of showboat a little bit. Yeah, for sure. You know, if it's unknown, he might go out there and fight harder thinking he lost a round. So, you know, I kind of like it the way it is now. There is some controversial scoring, just like that uh, Pac-Man-Bradley fight. That was very controversial. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. That's, that's hard to say. You know, that's, that's a good question, though. I would keep it the way it is because I know if I thought I lost a round, I'm going to go out way harder the next round than if I know I won and can just, uh, just kind of float around. Hey, man, so uh, this is fight week for you. How much does it suck having cut the weight? <laughs> I'm like 15 pounds over right now, and really, I don't think about it. I won't cut weight until Wednesday or Friday. I won't cut until probably Wednesday. Okay. So it's not going to suck until Wednesday. <laughs> okay, man. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Give me a prediction on Chael Sonnen versus Anderson Silva. It's up in uh, a couple weeks here. Ooh, uh... I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go. Chell Sonnen on that one. Uh, my prediction on that is, I think he's gonna win a decision this time. Uh, last fight, I think he would. He would have won. Right. Well, who knows with the judging nowadays? But he should have won that fight if he didn't get tapped out. Oh okay, yeah, man. Final question here. We're going to talk some fantasy fights. Um, if you could fight anyone, past or present, um, boxing, MMA, whatever, who would it be and why? Whew, boy, that is a good question. Uh, pass or print? Boxing, let's see. Uh, there's been a couple of boxers I saw fight that, uh, everyone said it looked like Roy Jones. So I, I actually would like to fight him. 
Okay, TJ versus Roy Jones. We'll set it up. Yep. <laughs> okay, Roy Jones, but... That's who I want to fight. I don't think he can stop my takedowns. Right, right. Oh, yeah, man. So uh, let's just uh, throw out your Twitter or Facebook or promote any sponsors you want to promote. Uh, yeah, for sure. I actually got my sponsors right here. I got a uh, Fanatic Sports Bar and Grill. Uh, after the fights, that's where I'm going after the fights. Have some drinks. and nice. We have some really good garlic hot uh, chicken wings and pizzas. So uh, Lion Gear, that's my clothing sponsor. Seminole Construction. Silverback Wrestling. Uh in Wyndham, Connecticut, that's uh, one of the groups. Well, one of the uh, groups I grew up wrestling in. American Auto got my vehicle from there. Now became best best friends with the guys. So nice. hopefully to get another vehicle for cheap uh, when I'm looking for a new one. Yeah, for I sure. Got, <laughs> I got Livery Cleaner and then uh, Demilico. That's where I get all my shirts made. So any fans out there need some good shirts? Demilico Sports Fashion. Where to go? Awesome, TJ. Well, thanks for the time, and best of luck in your debut. Yep, thanks a lot. Okay, see ya.